What's in the box? In the box. 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 Hello, my angels and devils, and all my, who may want to hear. It is Amanda Christina. This is Heavenly Imaginings, and this is my first craft online haul for 2019. Actually, it's my first official order of 2019. Now, the reason I wanted to do an order was two things. And... One of them was the Universal Corner and Notch Punch. Now, when I saw this, for some reason, I thought the notch was going to be like where you get to t a tuck spot, but it's not, but it's still cool. So the notch is, let me show you, the notch is a little harder to use than the corner rounder. So the notch is literally like the little indent and then your corner rounder it's actually a nice deep corner round and, and as you can see this cuts through chip in chipboard so you can do a certain amount of sheets and stuff at once I really miss my we are memory keepers crocodile I'm so sad it died but it died and this was six dollars so I grabbed one the other I, I love universal crafts now let me get a piece of paper something so I can show you yeah this will work okay so now Tim Holtz bought out glitter sprayers and universal craft has done the same now these were four dollars a piece on special which is for stuff like this is pretty good value um, was it four or three? I would have to. I'm pretty sure it was um, four. So what you do is you do you put some glitter in, which I did because I had to test it, and then you do this, and I'm hoping you can see that you get a really nice misting of glitter. So that is why I wanted those. I just thought they would be really cool for crafting and for resining. So I grab, and then when they're down, you can't actually push the thing in so I grabbed two of those to try I was going to grab more and then I went okay so I didn't really have much new stuff for gorgeous girls this year so I grabbed a sheet of stickers that were three dollars I really like the flake stickers but a lot of what I really loved they were sold out of and then I also grabbed the washi tape both of which you will see in the gorgeous girl collab which should come out before this actually okay then I couldn't help myself these were pricey as for two rolls of washi tape aka eleven dollars which is crazy but they were harry potter and i figured as i was doing as i really wanted to do a, an order um in order to be able to use afterpay i had to spend a hundred dollars so um i grabbed some some purely indulgent stuff so i grabbed the house symbol washi tape and this one has all the houses written on it there's so much harry potter stuff i would love to get but I had to be mindful. Now, this is a single card kit. I would not pay $5 for just enough to do a single card. But because it is um, 3D decoupage, what you can do is I can use some of the extra pieces rather than doing all layering them up. So I thought this little bunny it was just too beautiful. I have too many people that I know who are bunny mad. Look at just how gorgeous is that. Like even on its own, like just that popped up um with on a card or something would be just gorgeous um so i grabbed that then because as you know easter is something i am severely lacking i grabbed this east simple stories easter kit which was 11 12 dollars which is again pricey for what it is i think because we get the Kaiser stuff so cheap sometimes things that seem very very pricey to me this is six sheets of paper and a sheet of cardstock stickers so uh, a sheet of stickers so they're the pretty stickers and then these are all the papers it contains so you get the cutter parts you get this gorgeous black and white you get I just thought this was really pretty and with a, a couple of extra pieces <laughs> excuse me of paper I have bought that should give me enough I mean as much as I would love tons more Easter paper but with pastel card stock and other stuff that should give me enough to be able to do some Easter projects and then this was $19 this was ouchy to my heart and soul 
but I had to have it. I would love to be able to get the, a huge paper pad of this because a lot of these papers, especially like the Ravenclaw, the Hufflepuff and the Gryffindor and Slytherin would be really, really good for my, what do you call it? Good for my Etsy store for backgrounds, for things that I make. Um, so these are, this is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just do this so you can have a look. Um, it is eight sheets of paper and one coordinating sticker, sticker sheet, which is, that's the sticker sheet there. Hang on. I'll just roll this under, hopefully. And then that is the papers. And that's everything. Um, I can tell you how much everything is because I have it here. Um, yeah, the punch was $7, the corner and notch. Um... Oh, and then I have a heap of stamps to show you. Okay, which is the other reason. The notch punch, the glitter sprayers, and the stamps. Now, I did put some of these back. However, the owl is for a friend. The peacock is for another friend. So they're gifts. They're not... Um, these were 4 or $5. Um, hang on. $5, $5 a set. Neither ones of these are for me, but I thought while I can pay stuff off, it's nice. And these are a nice thin thing that if I sort of chopped it, take them out of the packaging and just put the little apple blossom thing with them, um, I can put that in flat mail because that's not super thick. Um, this one I won't be because that's going in a parcel, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure the person who's getting that will know who that's for. I'm hoping the person doesn't twig who that's for, although the packaging might be a giveaway. This one's for me because I don't have a basket die and it says Hello Spring and I just thought that would go nicely with Easter. And then the three sets I have been wanting for ages were the Happily Ever After, the May All Your Wishes Come True Princess and the Dragon and the Knight. So that is my entire order. It was free postage, which is for $50, and it was $102.85. So I went $2.85 over budget, which means I probably could have put one thing back, but then I would have just been shy. So, of, yeah, so yeah, I could put, probably have put the stickers back, but then I would have been $0.10 cents shy of what I needed. Um, and I could have just grabbed a cheap sheet, sheet of paper, but I really like the stickers. So that is my first craft online order for the year. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what your favourite things are. Um, I know some of this stuff is well overpriced, but getting to pay it off um, at $25 a fortnight for a few weeks is just a really helpful thing for me. Um, so it means that I get to be a little naughty sometimes. It's, it's something I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing, but I didn't really have Harry Potter paper for myself. I have some that I bought last year for a project that's not for me, so I don't get to use it, which is kind of... I get to use it, but I don't get to use it for me. Anyway, I'm babbling. It is early AM. I am hungry and tired and need to get some more videos made so that I can have a little bit of a... because you will have noticed there hasn't been many videos lately. And then I'm going to have breakfast and figure out what else I'm doing with my day. Anyway, I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils. Let me know below what your favourite thing is. Use the code word DRAGON. Do, do, do. Um, there will be a video coming up soon on why code words and what they mean this year. And I will talk to you all soon, my angels and devils. Remember, as always, you are amazing. You tr truly, truly are incredible. And most importantly of all, yes, you, say it with me, say, I matter because you you truly do matter bye all